Good morning vlog. Today is a Wednesday, so every Wednesday I have lunch with my family. Today we are going to a place called Bing's Dumpling, and we used to go here all the time, like six or seven years ago. We would go there like, I don't know, like every week, multiple times a month, and it was one of my favorite places to get soup dumplings, and I haven't been there in like five or so years, so I'm really excited to check it out again, see if it's as good as I remember. So let's head inside. First up, we got some spicy wontons. It's been literally like so long since I've been here, so I don't remember if I like it, but mom says she likes it. So we ordered some. <laughs> it's kind of in this small bowl. It's gonna be hard to mix it. <laughs> Maybe uh, just get one from the bottom that has the sauce already. Ooh. I like it. It's good? Not bad. I like the flavor of the chili oil. Yeah. And then the wonton chicken is chewy. Yes, yes, it has a chew to it. And then inside there's some shrimp. You can taste it. Yeah. Yeah, really nice chunk of shrimp. We also got these spicy cucumbers. They look really crunchy. It is. Is this crunchy? Mmm, very crunchy. Pretty tasty. <laughs> is it yummy? <laughs> <laughs> Delish cucumbers. Okay. Oh, yeah. Very crunchy. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, and our soup dumplings just arrived. Look at them, they look so plump. I know. <laughs> They're very good. Yeah, this place used to be my like one of my favorite places for soup dumplings many, many years ago, and it's been so long since I've been here, so I'm excited to try them again. Oh, look at that. It's glorious. <laughs> and I have my little mixture of chili oil and black vinegar in there. Good? Very good. <laughs> yeah? Is it very soupy? Let's see. Very, very soupy. I, I try to slurp out some and it still got a lot. Oh yeah, it looks like a lot in there. Oh, so much juice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's yummy. I'm gonna pour some into my dumpling. Mm. 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 Very soupy and juicy. Thin, chewy skin. Pork is really nice. Mm. Everything you want in a good shallow bowl. So good. And then for our noodles, I got a spicy pork noodle. It looks quite spicy with all these peppers. And then mom got a spicy and sour pork noodle soup. She wanted a noodle soup and I wanted a dry noodle. <laughs> so let's try to mix this up. And they also like hand pull their noodles here too. So they make them in house, I believe. It's so good. It does look good. Uh, wow, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Wow, flavor bomb. <laughs> Very good. They look so good. Mm -hmm. Delish. <laughs> Delish. <laughs> mm. It's decently spicy too, this one. Yeah, that, nice. Mm -hmm. Pudding noodle, very springy. I know, it's really really good hand put noodles here. You know, this is really good. And I usually eat all the noodles here and then take home the broth so I can mix something else with yeah, it. Yeah, mom is the queen of <laughs> the soup leftover queen. <laughs> yeah, remix 10 different dishes with this. 10? <laughs> <laughs>
right, so I am home now. I made a quick stop to Whole Foods because last week or the week before that, we went to Whole Foods and we got some cotton candy grapes and Bird loves them so much. So earlier this week when we went to Costco, we just got some normal green, green grapes. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard to say. But yeah, Bird has been saying that he wants the cotton candy grapes. He doesn't like the green grapes as much. So I was gonna stop by Whole Foods to grab some cotton candy grapes, but they didn't have any today. I don't know if they're just like out of season or something, not really sure, but Whole Foods didn't have them. But I did grab these Wild Wonder drinks. I got two of them. This is the mango gold flavor. And I first tried this when I went to the Google office for a research study and they just had these. So I grabbed one, I was curious and I ended up really liking it. And so ever since then, I've been trying to look for where I can buy some and they had them at Whole Foods. However, I was very interested in trying the other flavors like strawberry passion, but the ones at Whole Foods, they really only have like mango gold and then they have peach ginger and lemon ginger. And you guys know that I don't like ginger. So I hope that Whole Foods can stock some of their other flavors because it kind of eliminated two out of the three options for me. Mm. This one kind of tastes like a sparkling mango juice, but not like very sweet or anything. It's it's lightly sweet, but it's pretty good. And it's a prebiotic and probiotic sparkling drink. So good for gut health, I think. So yeah, surprisingly, I really like these. I just wish Whole Foods would stock more flavors, but maybe I'll just buy some from their website. If you guys are interested in trying this, which I was interested for a long time, so I'm glad I finally got to try it, I definitely would recommend. I actually really like them. Oh, and also I wanted to go over the stuff that we got at lunch. The Shalom Bell was really, really good. Like it definitely was as good as I remembered from years ago and in my opinion it's better than Din Ding which is another popular Shaolin Bao place in that area like Fremont Union City area so yeah I like their Shaolin Bao a lot their spicy wonton was definitely not bad but for me personally my favorite spicy wontons are at Din Tai Fung or the ones that I make at home so yeah while they weren't bad they weren't like the best I've ever had and then mom really loved her noodle soup dish and hers was super flavorful and the noodles were nice and chewy because they were hand pulled but my dish it was a little bit on the bland side like the meat and the peppers are flavorful, but the noodles itself, even though I was trying to like mix it and coat it in some sort of flavor or sauce, like if you just eat the noodles itself, it's kind of bland, but I brought it home so that way I could, I don't know, add some chili oil to it or something. But yeah, it was a very good lunch. Now we're like, why didn't we come back for all these years? Like we should we should go there more often, especially for the shalom ba, it was so, so good. Very juicy and plump, thin skin and so much soup. So yeah, we really liked it. Now that I'm home, I'm gonna work on editing some stuff not really sure what I'm gonna be up to today. So maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow or I'll see you guys later today if I have something to vlog for you guys. But yeah. <laughs> Hello vlog, it is the next day. We are up bright and early this morning. It is currently 8.30 a.m. I woke up at 7.30 because Bird had a global entry appointment at 8.30. So I had to drive him to the airport and we also wanted him to get there a little early in case he can't find where it is or whatever. So right now he's at the appointment and I'm just waiting for him to be done. But I'm gonna check out a coffee shop while I'm waiting. So hopefully Hopefully I can get some caffeine because I'm really tired right now. So yeah, let's go in the coffee shop. All right, I got this matcha shakerado. It's like espresso shaken with cream. And then I got bird an iced caramel latte. And he just told me that he's done with his appointment. So we gotta hurry and run over. Hello. <laughs> How was the appointment? Good. Good. I got you an iced caramel latte. Thank you. My favorite. Is it your favorite? I don't know. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Tasty. Look at mine. It's tiny. What the? That's an espresso. No, it's a. Well, they call it a shakerado. That's not real. <laughs> Guys, look how cute it is in here. It's adorable. Literally, look at this bar. It's so cute. We're browsing the menu. We are at this Filipino brunch place and our food just came. So I got the tocino and longanisa sea log. So this is garlic rice with a fried egg on top. And then Bird got the sisig silog. 
So it has chicken, sisig, and egg, and garlic rice as well. It looks so good. It smells so good. Yum! <laughs> this is the longanisa. The garlic rice is on the, the milder mm. garlic flavor side. Like it's not as garlicky as some other places. Tocino. Yeah. More of a nuanced flavor. Mmm. 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 The chicken is good. I think this is my first time having tocino. Oh, really? I don't think you've had it either. It's like a sweet cured pork. Mm. Even though the garlic flavor on the garlic rice isn't as strong as some other places, it's still really nice actually. Yeah. Like it balances the savoriness of the um, of the meats, you yeah. know. I'm trying some of birds sisi. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Mmm. That's really good. Yeah. It's like flavorful, and I really like the lemon. Like the acidity, mm -hmm. the squeeze of the lemon. Oh, it's really good. Mine's good too, but I think yours is like a, the star. Mm. I see why it has a, a yellow heart next to it on the menu. Really good. Mm. 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 Makes me happy. When we finished eating, we decided to, well, actually, no, we were playing this game as we were ordering the food, but we were curious on how well we know the geography of the US and how many states we can name on a map. So we started playing this game. Bird already lost his results, but he got like, what, 20? One. 21. And I got 30, but it's still not that great. I got, see, I got a lot of the West Coast, but then as we move over, yeah, not the best. And these, these ones I didn't even guess. The yellow ones I didn't guess. The red ones I guessed wrong. And then the green ones I guessed right. But not horrible. I yeah, mean, pretty good. 30 out of 50, st still like a D minus. But I haven't studied this since I was in fifth grade. So, not bad. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we finished our yummy breakfast and we drove just down the street to Philam Cuisine, which I featured in my Filipino food video on the main channel. And I just had to take Bird here because it was so good. So we're here, we're gonna pick up some skewers to take home. Who knows what else we'll take home as well, but I'm excited. <laughs> All right, we just got some stuff from Philam Cuisine. We got two barbecue plates, one with chicken, one with pork, and we're saving that for later. But we did get two taron that we want to eat fresh. So I'm excited. You tried this, but not fresh, right? I don't remember if I tried it. I think you did. I think I air fried it for you. Oh, maybe. Yeah, but when it's fresh, it's even better. I need to take a bite. It's real hot. Ah, look at that. It's like caramelized on the outside. Mmm. 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 Caramel. Mmm. It's really good. All right, that's it for this vlog. If you made it this far, comment below. Juicy dumplings are the best. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.